Hi guys, uh, I'm going to take you through the installation of Hypersonic 2. Uh, I'm basically using Nuendo 2, but what I'm going to show you is uh, is is how to get it get through it because I've been reading a lot on the internet, a lot of videos and stuff of guys like really complicating the installation. Um, I too was having a problem. I figured it out last night. I, I basically just reinstalled Windows and everything on my computer. I'm running Windows 7 32-bit um, and it seems to be working fine. So basically I'm going to take you through that. So here's my installation files. Now I've got three different versions of Nuendo, uh, of um, Hypersonic 2, and I found the only one that works is this one here. It's the Hypersonic version 2, Windows 7 32 bits and 64 bits. I think I got it from either BT Junkie or um, Kickass Torrents. Let's just have a look. I know this was very popular, this one, the DV, uh, DVD R Mary X Mr. Delirium. That didn't seem to work for me. And the H201 also didn't seem to work for me. The, the emulator doesn't seem to work on, on Windows 7. Maybe there's a different way of installing. But this is the one that, that works for me. And I've installed it on another computer as well. So basically, I'm going to take you through installation of that. Now, I just want to show you, um, if you have tried to install a Hypersonic 2 before, maybe just go to your program files, go to wherever your Hypersonic is, and just remove all instances of, of Hypersonic 2. So basically, this is where my plugins are. You can see there's nothing there. I've got nothing there. There's nothing in my new window folder. There's my VST other plugins folder, but I don't really use that. That's the standard plugins. Uh, so basically, yeah, that's it. There's no, there's no other, other thing here. Okay, so what you're gonna do? Obviously, I'm sure you guys know that's a, that it's an ISO file. Um, so I've already exported the ISO file to a folder on my computer. If you're not sure how to do that, you can use Demon Tools. Um, I mean, you can use WinRAR to 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 extract it and then daemon tools to mount the image because it's basically like a dvd so i'll show you here quickly um basically you go into it there's my file there it'll open through there i click on that extract to and then i've made a folder hyper so i've already done that i'm not going to go through that process with you but basically what i want to achieve with this install is a lot of guys are, are, are showing you steps but not actually installing it so so people don't believe that it's actually working so i've uninstalled mine i'm going to install it from the beginning so you can basically see that it is working um, and i'm going to take you through all the steps um okay so let's just go from the beginning here quickly just open my demon tools i've basically got it there what I'll do is I'll actually just delete that so you can see from the very beginning how this works. So I'm using Demon Tools Lite. It's a very simple. You add your device there. There's it there. It shows up as an F drive. So now I want to add. I'll go to desktop. There's my hypersonic folder, which is that one there. And there it is. Click once, open or click twice, whatever you want to do. Click on it and mount the drive. Now it'll pop up. Okay, you can auto run, but I go to folder, files. Everyone says you must do the demo setup. It's not necessary. Just click Hypersonic 2 setup. Say yes. And I've done this installation as well without deactivating uh, um, antivirus. I'm not sure if your antivirus is different. I'm using a vast and it doesn't seem to have any problems with it. It doesn't come up with viruses or anything. So you click next, next, accept, next, next 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 just install it wherever it wants to install i'm not going to create a desktop icon i don't want it on my, on my pc and if you're wondering why i have cam studio open every time i minimize it the whole recording messes out so i'm going <laughs> to just leave it there so it'll install the content now there's a lot of guys saying on the net and i'm not sure maybe it is it, it does work different pcs different stories i suppose but that you've got to go into the syncrosoft folder and look for the the h2o dongle and and run it as xp xp uh, service pack 2 the compatibility it's the cladex file i haven't done that in fact uh, one of the previous installations i messed around with that to see if it make a difference and it didn't really make a difference for mine i left mine on uh, compatibility for windows 7 um if you're not sure what i'm talking about you'll probably find it along the along the path of going through the installations but hopefully this installation will show you how it works it works for me and I, I mean, like I said, I've, I've uninstalled it about three or four times and it's still, it's still working for me. It's taking a little while to install. It doesn't usually take this long. It's obviously because the cam studio thing is open as well.
Now, the thing is, I don't want to pause or, or do anything funny with the recording. I want you to see the recording from the beginning to the end because that was one thing that really frustrated me about, about checking the videos and stuff is that the steps weren't shown fully or there was like cuts in the thing that made you think, what if that happened? Because some of the videos are followed to the T and the installation didn't work. So hopefully this is, this is better for you. I'm sure you guys want to see the whole thing, make sure that I'm not doing anything funny. Okay, there we go. It says next, you don't want to install the Syncrosoft License Control Center, so just say finish. Okay, so that's basically the setup done for that. Now you go back to your file. Hold on, my mom is here. Uh, plugins, remember it's this one, when version two, Windows 7, 32 bit, 64 bits. It's, it's the air, you'll see it come up now. Then like the H2O one, it's got its own um, cracked version, the, the, the crack, the setup.exe. So remember the first time we went into that, the ISO, this is the actual Steinberg hypersonic um, file there that, that's got the crack internal. So you double click on that. You'll see the Team Air or Air Audio. You say yes. There, Air Audio. Just say next, 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 install. Okay, finish. And that's it. You're done. Now, guys, this is where the problem comes in. People, let me show you what happens so you can see for yourself. I just hope that it doesn't cause problems when I reload it again because sometimes it throws the SEO out. Okay, so let's say new pro project. Uh, put it wherever. Okay, so now we're going to go MIDI track. I'll arm the MIDI track devices. VST instruments. It's obviously different on, on, on different setups. I'm, I'm using the window. I know Cubase is very similar. Um, guys on, on Fruity Loops are having problems loading it, but you've actually got to find the DLL file. You've got to take the DLL file from the hypersonic folder and copy it into your um, into your Fruity Loops VST folder. Then find that 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 DLL through through Fruity Loops. So you'd go to your plugins and search plugins and then find it. I'm not too clued up with, with Fruity Loops. I may, I may post a, a video soon uh, with that with that information on but i know you got to actually like paste the the dll into your your vst folder in in uh, free loop sorry man okay so there now you see when when it comes up like this on hypersonic and it's got two folders it's wrong it's only supposed to be one it should be down here at the bottom so if i click it's going to give me the error it says it's got a problem so okay so i'm just going to close here quickly close the program all right now you go to your local disk program files mine's in steinberg obviously for new window and there's my plugins folder okay hypersonic 2 is there but there's my plugins folder now this hypersonic folder needs to go okay it can't be you basically only want dlls in in this plugins folder so i'm going to right click cut to that you can paste it wherever you like i'm just going to paste it to the local disk for interest sake for you guys paste continue okay so basically, that's what your file should look like. The window two, you can see there's nothing in there for hypersonic. This is basically just the folder with all the stuff, the documentation and all that, okay? So now that's what it should look like. Just the hypersonic DLL in there. Now you can close. Um, let me show you the, the Syncrosoft thing quickly if it's there. Program files, Syncrosoft, POS. See, there, there was a file in here that they said had to change, but that it doesn't need to. A Cletix file, but it's not there. Okay, cool. So now we're going to go back to Nuendo. Hopefully it doesn't give me issues. File, new project, empty. Let's go, whatever. Ah, you see it is going to give me issues. Okay, just two seconds. Let's just do this quickly. Device setup, VST multi-track. Okay, 
it's pending. So now basically what I just need to do quickly, just give me a second. We'll change it to that control panel, advanced options. Just run a simulation quick. For some reason, when that when that um, error comes up the first time in in the window, it seems to throw my SEO drive out of out of sync, and then my MIDI keyboard won't work. So I'm just going to run this simulation again quickly. It seems to reset it. Okay, say okay, okay. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, well, just give me a second, guys. Let me just see if I can get this working quickly. Did save. I'm not too sure why it does that. It's quite annoying. Let's try to select another folder maybe okay well okay it's still not there UST multi-track come on come on let's just do that run another simulation again sorry guys <laughs> I just want to show you that it is working This is obviously, this doesn't concern you guys. Let me see, it still says it's inactive. Hmm. I'm not sure how this is gonna how we can sort this out. Okay, well either way guys, let me just show you quickly. If I go to devices, I'll add a MIDI track. If I go to devices, VSD instruments, see now new windows change uh, hypersonic has changed. It's its own folder now. Okay. So let's click on hypersonic, boom, and then it opens. Okay, so now Obviously, I'm going to have a bit of a delay here because I don't have my MIDI keyboard connected at the moment, but there. You can see that it is working. And they'll all work. Okay, guys, so that's basically how you do the installation. I'm sorry I couldn't show you with the with the MIDI keyboard. I've obviously got to sort out this problem. Um, if you have any comments, just post them on the on the page here. Thanks, guys.